Okay, so let's move ahead and do a few more validations on this web page. So here, let's say you clicked on the shop button so that you will land on this products page. So our goal is to select products on this page, but you never know in which order they will get displayed. So based upon the text, you have to select this add button. Okay, that is first test case. So you have to write one generic function where if you pass that product name, automatically that function should take your product name as input and it should be able to click on this add button. So that's what we need to achieve. So for that, let's write a method using Cypress. At the same time, you need to add multiple products. Let's say if you send two product details, so those two product details should be added into the cart. Okay, so now let's focus on building that specific method. I will extend this particular framework.js test. So to reach this page, firstly you need to click on the shop tab, right? Either you can use Propath plugin or you have a tab here. So you can simply inspect and shop and this is the CSS copy click so this clicks on the shop button and we will navigate to this page nice so here now I need to write a function so firstly our plan is to grab all these texts using one locator so when if you have written a common locator to grab all these texts then we can iterate through that array of texts to find the desired text what we are looking for we have already done few examples regarding that let me see yeah look at here so i written one common locator to grab all the texts out of which i will iterate through each and every locator text if text matches to that element then i am actually using another locator with index to click on that we have to bring same logic here as well okay just the same logic but you will have different locators and different ways to deal that all right so let me come back to my test now let's try to find out the common out of all these so car title is this a common let's see go to crow path and h4 is a tag name nope you have to give dot before the class name nice look at there total four elements are retrieved using this okay now i will copy this selector and then we will go back to our cypress editor and start writing that dot so this will grab all four text right now for this i have to apply dot each logic so i will simply copy this instead of me replicating it again all right okay so every time each time you will get one element so you can simply get the text of that element i will make it as el so that el dot 
it's up to you if you want to use dollar in your variable or not if you don't want to use this dollar remove it here as well just to bring the consistency it's just a parameter variable name you can put it dollar el or you can write any random variable name okay make sure it's same here and here as well okay so we will get our desired text so let's say for now we will actually say if this test text whatever we grabbed equals to um, blackberry so if it's equals to blackberry then handle the situation okay dot includes i would just put it include so that if there are any spaces after the text it excludes that so includes is basically a subtext blackberry right so if dollar text includes blackberry then what should i do i should click on that button okay that's the whole point we need to achieve here but how do you handle blackberry add button if you find that so now your control is on here so one simple logic here is to firstly get all add buttons okay so if you look at here add button button tag name dot btn dot btn hyphen info total four elements matching look at here four add buttons got selected make sure you put dot when there is space between btn and this btn okay as i said in the initial lectures you cannot have spaces in class name when you write a css selector with a dot so replace that space with a dot so i have written one locator where i got four add buttons so what i can do here if it matches then cy dot get and then css selector you can actually check it here or you can also validate at this point after clicking on the shop button so i'm just telling you because this crow path plugin is present today probably after a few years chrome may block it if it violates any policies so all these are open source plugin right so we cannot guarantee that it might exist but if you think in such a way and if you don't see that plugin is there um you can use this open selector playground you can pass the css whatever you thought and look at here four matching elements same thing you can achieve here as well okay and when you hit an enter look at these all these are getting highlighted so you have two ways and it's up to you to choose one right out of four i want to click on which index so how do you know for which index blackberry add button is present so we already saw this kind of topic right basically for first array index will also be zero for the second time index also increments to one so if blackberry is found on the fourth product at the same time this index number also will increment each and every time and by the time it reaches this if block when blackberry is found the index number will also be the number of that product located so right now it's fourth one right so index value also will be 4 when it comes inside this block so you can simply pass this index and that's it and you can click on that we are not yet done because our main aim is to not hard code this value in the method we need to build one function or method whatever both belongs to same terminology in javascript so if you pass a parameter to function with product name that function should click and add to cart that product is our goal so we were able to achieve that for blackberry for now okay let me run this and see if this is going through before we modify this uh, code save your project and then
perfect you see that checkout one and blackberry is in the checkout product so good we have successfully built one logic to select add the items to cart based upon the product name so now what i will do i'm going to explain one more framework concept called building custom cypress commands so here you felt that it's a function right you can treat that as a utility basically this is a utility which selects the product based upon the product name so this custom method you can actually write it in your commands.js so this support folder is present to accept all these custom methods so if you declare it here look at this so here they want to create a new command so we will actually declare that method here and assign one command to it so that we can call that command directly into our test you might not be clear at this point just don't worry let me carefully cut this code and write it there you will definitely understand within a minutes so save this code or you can actually cut it because we don't want to write it here go to the commands.js which is present in support directory okay so look at here so they want to assign a name to your command first so this is how you need to declare the syntax they already given how to create custom command using cypress so at this point you are still not clear what is custom command just hold on i will use their template and here let us give name to this logic that means we are creating new command so we all these are cypress commands get visit all these are default cypress commands right so you can build your own cypress command and we will give the instructions for that command to ha handle this logic like pass the product name so that it should click on the add to cart button so our new customized command name is select product okay and let's say that these are the parameters what you can pass to your product so we can actually pass product name this is what we need to send from our test so basically this command accepts an argument called product name so once it accepts the argument and now between this parenthesis you have to write your code perfect now the product name whatever you pass from your test will come into this command and you will replace it with your blackberry so that you are not hard coding now so this product name will come from the test so whatever product you want to select you will give it from your test and that will fall here so basically we created one new command called select product so just like how we have used cy.get cy.visit now i can say let me save this project cy.select product this command is not really present in cypress but we customizably created this and if you want to create this you have to do it in support commands.js folder that's what cypress guys are saying so this is the command name and this command we said that it accepts an argument so this is how you can this is the syntax like add a new command with the argument like this and write your code inside it product name so the blackberry whatever you want to select now enter as a argument so that you are not hard coding that logic that logic is now dynamic in nature based upon the input you pass now for example blackberry is the input if you pass it clicks on blackberry and if you pass nokia edge as an input it just clicks on the nokia edge okay i'll show that how this works in our next lecture thank you